Hi guys, it's Drew here, and today I'm gonna to be doing another Instagram video in my Instagram series. If you do not know or you're new to my channel, I have an Instagram series here on YouTube, and I do a ton of different videos on editing. I'll link the playlist below for you guys. Also, I am filming on my iPhone, and I have no idea where to look. Like, do I look at the screen? Do I look at the iPhone camera? I have, I don't know, so if my eyes look crazy, just bear with me. But I just wanted to do a quick little intro on my iPhone because it was way quicker than me breaking out the camera and everything. But I'm gonna share with you guys a few ways to edit your photos in a more editorial style. I got so many questions after I posted a selection of these photos on the screen. I'll show them to you guys. So I'm gonna show you how to edit all these different photos. It's a bit more in depth and advanced than your typical, like, normal iPhone edit, um, but I definitely think it's like inspirational in case you do want to know how to do this and just like good to know if you do any sort of graphic designing or just like you want to include these types of photos in your Instagram feed. Last but not least, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure to do so. I'll put my Instagram username right here. It is at I'm Drew Scott. I post lots of stuff over there from travel posts, lifestyle posts, outfit posts, uh, just lots of fashion based stuff. All that mixed match of stuff you guys see here on my channel is also posted on my Instagram, but it's all original content over there, so make sure to follow it. It's at I'm Drew Scott, plus you can get a better look at the types of photos I'm editing um, while you're watching the video. So make sure to do so, but let's jump into how to edit these editorial-esque Instagram photos. Okay guys, so this first image here that we're gonna create is almost like a double masked image. I don't really know what to call it, but it, it looks like this. As you can see, you, you can do this with a lot of different images, and it's just a really cool look, I think. It's very editorial. It almost looks like you literally clipped it out of a magazine and pasted it on top of the original photo, which I personally love, and there were so many questions on this photo, so I figured I would show you guys this one first. And you're going to, of course, use the Pixlr editor that I told you guys about. The first thing you're going to do is go here to File and press Open Image. You're then gonna open the image that you're going to want to edit, of course. Um, so here's the image that we're gonna wanna edit. And the tool you're gonna use to do this is the lasso tool. So it's this one right here. Click on lasso tool. And then right up here at the top, there is a poly polyagonal lasso tool. I think that's how you pronounce it, polyagonal, something like that. Polyagonal lasso tool. And this is the tool that you're gonna use to cut out the image. So what I do is I start down here at the bottom, very, very bottom click once and as you can see it's going to create a straight line so wherever you click again on the screen essentially is going to create a new anchor point so you're just going to sort of click it around creating a little bit of a border around your image you could go directly on top but i want that more of like a cutout magazine vibe so i just click every about every quarter inch on the image just like however much you want to do it uh is up to you the longer stroke strokes you use the longer it looks like it would have been cut out with scissors if that makes sense so i just sort of click around click 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 and it's straight lines each time which is why i use a polyagonal lasso tool compared to the normal one because it creates straight lines get down to the bottom click and then go to the beginning actually go down to the bottom here click and then go back to the beginning click and it's going to re like circulate the image so it's going to have this little dotted line around it and that's what you're going to want because this is essentially where it's going to be cut so if you don't like this you're going to want to start over if you do like this then you're golden um over here on the layers palette you're going to right click on background and click duplicate layer after you duplicate your layer you're going to go right back over to your image right click and press invert selection which is going to basically invert and select the background. So now instead of you being selected in here, the entire background's being selected. We inverted it. After you do that, you are going to go up here to edit and click cut. And that's gonna cut away the background. And if you could see right here, under the background copy right here, it looks like just you because that's what it is. Now you can simply take yourself, move yourself over, and that is how you create your image. And then of course I would have gone in and edited it more in like Visco and stuff, but this video is to show you guys the basics of this. Um, and you can just go crop it as a square on your Instagram or whatever you wanna do, but that's essentially how you create these double masked images. So moving on to the next image, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this super, oh look, very editorial um, image that basically is just a square image and the image is on top of a white background and there is some text on the side and I think this just looks very magazine-esque. Um, it's like a magazine editorial page where they would then again list out all of the items worn in the outfit, uh, but you can really do this for whatever. Let's say you have like 
a flat lay here and you just want to list out some details or write a little blurb about it, I think this is a great way to add some text and some more visual interest to your photo. You are going to again use the Pixlr editor to do so. And the first thing you're going to do is click file and click new image. Don't do open image, we're going to do new image. And the only things you need to worry about on this uh, pop-up screen here is the width and the height. So the width is 1,000, make the height 1,000 as well. This is just going to be a perfect square. And I find 1,000 by 1,000 is totally fine for an Instagram photo. And then click OK. So you have this white little layer that we're working with. And I kind of like to work a little bit smaller, so I'm going to pull it down here just so I can see everything um, on the screen that I want to look at. And then I'm going to go to File, Open Image, and you're going to open the image you are going to want to layer. So I'm going to open that same exact image. So here we go. This is the image that we are going to be working with. It's the same exact image on the other one. And I already cropped it, already did everything I wanted to do to it. But if you haven't done so, you can use the crop tools and such in here. But I basically edited, edited this image on my phone first and then sent it to my computer. So now that it's done, you are going to drag this background layer here on to the white screen. So there we go, now it is on our white layer. And what you're gonna do after that is click on Edit, Free Transform. So after you click Free Transform, this is gonna let you transform the image. If you hold Shift down while you do this, um, it won't move it, but if you don't hold Shift, you can warp it however you want. So hold Shift and it will keep the precise measurements. So you're just going to move it over into place, continue to hold Shift and just drag it until you have exactly what you want. So let's say I just wanted it to look like this to fill a majority of the screen and come up here, apply changes, yes. So then this is the base of the image. You have your white space here, your image on the right. And next what you're going to do is use the font down here. So this is a, the type tool. It's right here, the letter A. Click type tool, click on the screen. And the amazing thing about this is that it actually samples all of the fonts from your computer. So you can install whatever you want. Um, it just takes them right out of your computer. So I typically use Georgia, which is such a basic font, um, but it's just such a classic that I love. So I'll find Georgia on here. Here it is. So you're going to click Georgia and then I would put in here outfit details with a colon maybe. And let's also just make this italic because I like the way that that looks. And reduce the size just a teensy bit. I love the look of small font because I think it looks extra editorial. And you can use the move tool to move your font around. So I would move it right down here. I would click the type tool once again, click here. And then you would basically do jeans, Zara, enter, uh, T, Adidas. So, uh, for this font, I always use Helvetica. I literally use the two most generic fonts you could probably use, but you already know your computer's gonna have those in there, so you don't need to download anything if you want a similar look. Uh, and I like to use Helvetica, I normally like light, but I think regular should be fine for now. And then I'm just going to tone down this quite a bit, probably to about, click OK. And you can then drag the font right underneath and that is how you create a similar editorial look. This one just has a little bit of a bigger font here and I actually use just Helvetica Bold here instead, uh, but you can just adjust it, tweak it to however you want it to look, but this is how you're gonna create an editorial-esque Instagram photo. This last image here is a layered image and I got a lot of requests for this too because a lot of people don't know how to do layered images like this, especially because a lot of the apps you could download on an iPhone are collage apps and it sort of just locks them into place and you don't have a lot of creative freedom. So I wanted to share with you guys how to create uh, layered images or how to put two images that look really nice together on one photo. And it's kind of similar to the last one. We did use a few of the same elements, but I thought I would just share this with you as well. So using the Pixlr editor, you are going to go to File, New Image, and again, do this about a thousand by a thousand. I find this to be the best for an Instagram photo. It's pretty generic. Um, press OK to create that layer or the base to your image. And then I like to just work small again. I always like to work on a smaller background. And what I'm gonna do next is go to File, Open Image, and you're going to open the two, three, four, five images, however many you wanna add. Um, I think it looks best with around two to three. I think over cluttering can just make it kind of look like one of those collage apps. But if you use two images that are pretty strong that have already been edited, I think that's the best route to go. So I'm gonna use these two images here. They're of my new tote bag, my Balenciaga tote bag. I took these just for fun for my last video I created on my channel. 
and I want to layer them here. Let's say I wanted to post this on Instagram. I wanted to promote my new bag or something like that. I don't know, but very similar if you wanted to do this for an outfit photo as well. So I want this to be my largest image because I find it to be the most visually appealing. I think it's a really, really stunning image. So what I'm gonna do is drag background on to the white and click edit, free transform, and you can then create however big of an image you want this to be. And I am still working on this. Sometimes if you click out of the uh, transform space, it will sort of like tell you to stop. So let's say I want this to be the full right hand side, or no, actually, let's leave like a little bit of imagery on, or a little bit of white space on the top here because I think that could be very nice on my Instagram feed. And then click here, press yes. So that's gonna be the first image on this layer. And for the second image, it's going to be this close up here. And I love this because I love how you can see the Balenciaga logo and I love like the texture, the colors, the contrast, everything about this. Um, I think it'd be really nice as a close up. So I'm actually gonna use the crop tool to simply crop right about here. I want it to be like a very tight crop and then click move tool and press yes to crop that. So here's the cropped uh, image here. And then again, drag background to he the base here, which was where we applied the first largest image. And then you can move it around. And I actually already kind of like the size of this. And keep in mind, it's gonna be butting up against another photo. So if it doesn't look as great as just a solo photo, think about it on your feed. So you're going to maybe not want this white gap here. So put it all the way to the left to make it really flow and look like it's moving off the page. And then I would probably layer this one right about here and then maybe add a little white text down here that says bag by Balenciaga to give it that really editorial vibe. But overall, this is how you layer images. Um, you can do this with two or three. Think about maybe this large one as a full body and then this one right here as like a really nice close up or something. It's just a great way to really expand your options with your Instagram feed. And that is how I create these layered uh, editorial-esque images. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and it gave you some insight on how to do those photo edits because they were just so highly requested. I got emails, DMs, and comments like crazy um, all the time when I post photos like this because it's uh, a lot of people who have not done any sort of graphical background or they don't, it, it's kind of hard. It's like you don't know what to use in order to make those photos and it can be frustrating when you want to do something like that. So I thought I would give you my intake on how to do photos like that. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I'm Drew Scott. I'll link it below and I'll put it on the screen for you guys and I will catch you on my next one. Bye guys. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button below because I post lots of videos here, including lots of Instagram based content. So if you're an Instagram addict like myself, don't forget to subscribe.